Good morning, good morning. It's Chilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, bringing you into my art room, and I like to think it's my therapy room because um, definitely art to me is therapy, so it's a time that you can just. Um, yeah, leave all your troubles at the door and just concentrate on something that you love doing. So I definitely, definitely encourage it. Today I'm going to coat my canvas with a premix. It is just premix Montmartre Studio Acrylics with my PVA glue and water. The recipe is in the drop down box underneath this video. And I'm going to do some a boom gel. Um, I'm going to use it to actually see if I can swipe with the boom gel, see what we can come up, up with. So hopefully it's a goodie, a goodie goodie. So what I'm going to do is just uh, a bit quicker than that is to let this big baby out, is to coat my canvas. Just hoping that I haven't got any skin. Yes, there's skin happening in there. I think it's because I keep topping this container up without letting it, um, without cleaning it out in between, so I'm getting the skin, but that's okay. It's not a big problem, is it? You can just pull the little gubbers out with your fingers. Or if not, leave it in and you've got mixed media. It's, um, there's been worse things put in paintings before, so I, um, see? <laughs> Then a bit of skin so I'm just using my fingers uh, if you're pedantic and you like doing it with a spatula or a brush then uh, you know do you you choose whatever you feel is the right way for you but I don't mind doing it this way at all it's nice and quick um, coats the canvas so there we go we put a bit more on the wind is a bit windy today and it's um it's bashing my uh, fly screen my sort of fly fly net curtain against the door so if that's the that might be the sound that you can hear because some people ask me if they can hear sounds you know or what was that in your video so i'm pre answering the question it's just the fly screen No. Not coming out real well out of the hole, so pr probably is that because there's some skin that's probably stopping it coming out the little hole there. All right, so I'm going to do this one using the boom gel stain. So this is available in the US and Europe and the UK. I believe it's all on Amazon. And there are also stockists in those areas um, and of course we're lucky enough in Australia that we can get it off the online store at Capriol Shabby Chic so uh, the link is below if you're in Australia that's not coming out very well so I'll just sometimes the paint dries in the little hole so oh there you go there's a bit of skin in there it's all about the skin today even though it's winter here we're still getting oh some quite warm days and then it'll drop cool oh dear yeah that got a bit of skin in there I feel like I'm popping a pimple or something but I know some people find that gross but I don't mind that at all <laughs> yuck okay so that was the burgundy now this is the gorgeous pearlescent mauve might put a bit of the other colors out because as i said i'm going to swipe these and see how they go being swiped I'm going to actually swipe with just my Montmartre Brilliant White and some um, Floetrol. So they have got um, 
a boom booster in this range that you can put in your paints if you want cells and things so I haven't as you said I haven't added anything to these particular paints I'm just doing it as is so I'm hoping to do a swipe and of course if I feel the need as I usually do I will do some balloon kissing but if you guys don't like my balloon kissing then you obviously if you were doing the work you wouldn't add those little treasures to to it yeah these paints are that you only use a tiny bit and they go a long long way so um, you don't use much of them at all so they just last and last so that was the silver now this is the native violet purple so I may very well be doing some balloon kisses as well oh, that's um I need to poke poke any gubbers out of the Ugh. okay let's try that oh this is a gorgeous color too so it'll be interesting I'll go out that way and out this way and I'm going to pour the this is the Montmartre studio acrylics just with Floetrol and it's basically because I had it left over so I thought why not try it it's my dear little puppy that's been terrorizing my art room while I've been trying to work but I wondered he was so quiet it's making himself known now I will try with my plastic sheet these are just a soft a soft plastic file divider so actually I probably would do better to use my Swifty swipe which is the same thing it's a soft plastic file divider that I've just stuck on to a um, old spatula so I can actually do smaller swipes with this or more oh look at that already oh my goodness oh look at that that is pretty neat take two for some reason my camera stopped recording at the point where you just seen uh, the swipes all the goodie bits but I uh, luckily enough just come round and checked it in between so um, you missed all the swiping but uh, continued on with my Swifty swipe and this is what I got it, it, it is really quite beautiful I mean I haven't put any heat on it I haven't done anything to it except the um, what you've seen with my Swifty swipe and the um, boom gel stain so I will what my intention is is just to do some tiny water balloon kisses through the um on the diagonal and leave the rest so i'm quite happy with that it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's really shimmering and i think that i mean it's really shimmery and i think it's because i've used mostly the pearlescent pearlescent colors in this particular one so without further ado before my uh, camera carks it again I will get my little teeny tiny it's just a small balloon Aussie kiss of life there you go um, it's just a small balloon that I'm gonna just put some gorgeous um, embellishments down through the center with so it may be just that little bit wet to do some good embellishments sometimes that's the trick is to just leave it for about 30 to 40 minutes so i'm just going to go down even though i can see these are falling in i'll form my shape that i want to do in the balloon kisses it's definitely falling in so it will benefit me leaving it and coming back to it 
so I just want to do this sort of embellishment of the balloon kisses on the sort of wave through the diagonal so even if it doesn't actually look like a balloon kiss like a flower or anything it's still adding a bit of difference in there some lovely little effects that come from doing it this way so absolutely don't mind it at all oh, very shimmery very pretty it's gorgeous I just want to thank you guys so much for you oh there's such heartfelt comments I've been getting from you lately have been so uplifting and yeah, just makes this all worthwhile. I know some people say, oh, you're putting a lot more videos out now and you should have some rest, but this is my therapy. This isn't, it doesn't feel like work unless I was pressured to do uh, bump out videos, but of course I'm not because it's my time, my art room, and as I tell you, your art room, your rules, you know, so I can spend just a day in here and actually get four or five videos done in one day and then not paint for a week if I so choose to and then I can just upload them to YouTube as I've learned to do muddled my way through um, I can upload them and release them daily what I might may have done all in one day so I'm not um, overdoing it for myself because I'm sure I am I am definitely at that, that age in my life where I know where when I've got to pull back um, if thing you know if I'm overdoing things so but this is definitely my therapy and I would be doing it in my art room um, for my own time except you know the only difference being that I'm filming it so it's all good all good for that thank you so much for those that were concerned I have um, absolutely respect and thank you guys for your concern so what do you think of this one I don't like that little bit there so I'm gonna just kiss it uh, what do you think let me know what you think I know some hate balloon kissing well then you know if that's if it was your painting and it, you're doing it on your time, then you think, well, I don't want to add those horrible kisses that Jilly does. So just go, you know, go in a different direction. I'm only giving you ideas. And if you only like it to a certain point, then think, oh, well, that was a good idea, but I, I won't, you know, do that. Just make it your own. As one uh, lovely person said on my YouTube, on my acrylic art Facebook page, Joe Lear, I think, Joe Lear, that he, rep, you know, uh, replicated something that I'd done in a tut, you know, but then he went on to make it his own. So he, he didn't do it exactly as I said or how I recommended. He had the basic guidelines because he obviously liked whatever it was. And then he, he continued on his own tangent to make it his very own. So that's exactly the attitude to have um, about any of the artists is take from them, you know, what you feel is right for your particular work and then start working, changing it and make it your own. So you may get the basic guidelines off the YouTube artist, but then you certainly can make it your own. For sure so there you go I'm absolutely loving this and I'm not sure if you can see the sheeny shine in this painting it is shiny it's got such um, pearlescent vibe going in there so there you go somebody asked me this week will you do some pinks and silver so there you go you've got a bit of a spin in there with the the red that but it does look like a deep pink took my gloves off didn't I oh my cameras continued filming I'm quite astounded I don't know what happened there but 
Oh, I've been some th funny things happening with camera, so it's obviously is time I replaced. But here you go. Beautiful. Thanks for joining me so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's absolutely free. I will put the finished photos on the end of this video and they will certainly be on my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page. And if you'd like to show me your work, join our Australian Acrylic Pouring page and that's for everyone in any country. It doesn't have to be just Australia. So you're all welcome to join. So thank you guys. Bye for now.